What will our future look like? In my last video, we went over the events that will be most likely to occur before 2050. In this video, we shall discuss what will be likely to happen to us in the further future. I'm not a seer, nor will I pretend to know exactly what the future will bring us. Especially with us venturing increasingly far into the future, events are getting more and more speculative. Please keep that in mind while watching this video. That being said, here's a list of events that are most likely going to happen to us after the year 2050, but before 2250. Continuing from 2050, nearly half of the Amazon rainforest is expected to have been lost by now. As a result, over 30 billion tons of carbon will have been added to the atmosphere and numerous loss of biodiversity. Additional on the topic of climate change, by 2050, in southern Europe and the North American continent, wildfires will have tripled in intensity. And China aims to complete the South North Water Transfer Project. Its main purpose is to divert water from the southern region of China to the drier north. It consists of an extensive system of tunnels, dams, reservoirs and canals, all connecting and diverting water from China's largest rivers, including the Yangtze, Yellow and Hai River. At its peak capacity, the entire system can move nearly 45 billion cubic meters of water annually. It is projected that by 2051, the United States will reach a population of 400 million, and Britain will hold its centennial national exhibition. In 2052, the biggest supermoon of the 21st century will occur. By 2053, genetically engineered designer babies for the rich class will have become a possibility. By 2054, rainfall intensity has increased by 20% worldwide. Rainfall intensity increases by 7% for each degree of additional global warming. And during the 2050s, the world is approaching 3 degrees warmer than 2000. By 2055, spaceflight and astronomy will have taken a drastic leap forward due to technological advances. Space telescopes will have improved their resolution by 100,000 times. It is now possible to view near extrasolar planets in close detail. The number of known planets beyond the solar system, which was about 5,000 in 2018, has grown to over 13 million by 2055. Also in 2055, global population is reaching peak capacity and beginning to stabilize at around 9 to 10 billion. By 2056, global temperatures will have risen by 3 degrees since 2000. And by 2058, 1 billion human brains can be simulated in real time. And we can expect a radio telescope to have been built on the moon. By the end of the 2050s, we hope to have established a permanent human presence on Mars. This is likely to be moved to the 2040s due to recent advances on space access behalf. By 2060, sea levels will have risen by at least 25 centimeters due to global warming. Due to this, flooding will have become a regular issue in the eastern United States, which will have to erect a system of seawalls by now to protect vital coast cities such as New York from flooding. The Mediterranean climate has also changed, now allowing tropical cyclones. During July and August of 2061, Halley's Comet will return, and commercial mining of the moon's elements should be economically feasible. Futurologists expect that by 2065, long-livity treatments will be able to halt aging and self-assembling nanotech buildings should be a thing now. By 2067, process with antimatter science can be expected to have led to the first antimatter-powered spacecraft. And according to current graphs, male and female salaries are reaching parity by 2068. The rise of Islamic population has stabilized by 2070. Most of the increase has occurred in sub-Saharan Africa, although these are beginning to stabilize now. By 2070, over a third of the world population can be expected to be Muslim. And average global temperatures have risen by 4 degrees since 2000, making an environmental disaster. Fusion power should be widespread by now. And by 2072, nanotech clothing will have become mainstream while Pico technology is becoming practical and a thousand times smaller than nanotech. By 2075, the hole in the ozone layer is expected to have made a full recovery. And by 2076, computers are sufficiently developed to accurately simulate viruses to the quantum level. By the end of the 2070s, with much of the inner solar system now home to a thriving economy, attention is turning to the untapped potential of the gas giants in the outer solar system. 
for governmental and commercial interests. Rising technology at the dawn of the 2080s has led to some humans becoming more non-biological than biological. By 2080, the construction of a transatlantic tunnel will be underway, and polar bears will be facing extinction by 2082 due to climate change and loss of their natural environment. Devastating heat waves will be plaguing Europe, with temperatures easily hitting 45 degrees in Paris by 2082. And by 2084, technological advances will have made it so that androids will be widespread in law enforcement. By 2085, we can expect manned exploration of the Jovian system and Jupiter's moons. By 2090, religion is fading from European culture, with an ever-increasing amount of the population becoming atheists. Hypersonic vectorings will become a thing by 2090, and the European Energy Council and Greenpeace both believe that the entire world can be powered by renewable energy by 2090. By 2092, Western Antarctica will be among the fastest developing regions in the world after its ice sheet is melting. Also by 2092, we can expect manned exploration of the Saturnian system. By 2095, global fertility has stabilized at below 2.0 children per woman, leading to the first ever time in centuries human population will start to decrease again. Also by 2095, the number of undead languages in the world is expected to have decreased to less than 4,000. The most dominant will be Spanish, English and Chinese. At the end of the 2090s, the true devastation of rising sea levels will begin to show itself in vulnerable areas such as Florida, the Netherlands and India. Also over 80% of the Amazon rainforest has been lost. It is also likely that before 2100, the world has adopted a global currency. The average employee by 2100 works less than 20 hours per week, and human intelligence will be vastly amplified by artificial intelligence. Also nomadic, floating cities will be roaming the oceans to shelter the many inhabitants which will have had to flee the coastal areas they lived in after they became flooded due to climate change and rising sea levels. And by 2110, technology may be sufficient enough to begin the terraforming of Mars. Force field technology may get into use by now as well. And by the 2110s, our solar system is approaching a boundary between the local cloud of interstellar gas and another cloud of extremely turbulent gas. The latter is the remnants of supernova explosions that occurred millions of years ago. The density of this medium is sufficiently low to pose no threat to the Earth of other planets. The heliosphere is reformed slightly and the levels of cosmic radiation entering the magnetosphere increases, but nothing more. On 18 November 2115, the release of a film from 2015 by Robert Rodriguez and John Malkovich were teamed up with Louis XIII to create a film called 100 Years, which was put in a time capsule and scheduled to be released 100 years later. Femto technology is practical by the 2120s, while mind uploading will enter mainstream society due to continuing technological developments. By the 2130s, a large scale civilian settlement of the moon is underway. This is becoming increasingly cheap due to again advancing technology. We can also expect to have a level of control over earthquakes and tsunamis by now, which will give us a power to save millions. Around 2140, computers will be able to simulate one cubic meter of space down to the quantum level. By 2150, interstellar travel is becoming common. A wide variety of probes has been sent to neighboring star systems by now and have successfully reached their destinations. The fastest of these can now achieve a significant fraction of the speed of light requiring only a few decades of travel time. Also around 2150, the famous holodecks from Star Trek are becoming a reality. During the 2160s, a century has passed since the peak in global extinction rates and biodiversity has now restabilized. With previous food chains having collapsed, the world's fauna is now dominated by the hardiest and most adaptable life forms, such as rats, cockroaches, and canines, while plant life has seen a marked increase in the proportion of weeds. Antimatter power plants are speculated to be common by the 2180s, and by the 2190s, atmospheric nitrous oxide (N2O) has fallen to pre-industrial levels. Around 2200, traditional employment is becoming obsolete due to the continuous falling of the hours in a work week. According to graphs, the average employee now has an average of less than five hours per week. During the early 23rd century, we will see the first starships put into use as Earth is expanding itself beyond the reaches of our solar system. 
By 2110, global sea levels will have risen by at least a full meter. According to graphs, the percentage of Christians in the United States will fall below 5% by 2224. And from 2227 to 2247, Pluto will be closer to the Sun than Neptune. And around 2130, the first antimatter powered starships will be put into use. By 2250, it is predicted that humanity will have become a type 1 civilization on the Kardashev scale. According to Nikolai Kardashev's extrapolation of 1% energy usage growth per year. As of the moment I'm making this video, humanity is at type 0.72 on the Kardashev scale. By reaching type 1, it means humanity now has the potential to utilize all of Earth's energy resources. So again, we had a lot of info to cover this video. While for the last video, many of the events I named may be cancelled or delayed, most of the events named in this video are speculative, based upon graphs and predictions. I don't imagine this video to be anything but laughable by 2050. Therefore, if you are watching this video more than 5 or 10 years after its initial upload date, please keep in mind that by now it's likely gone outdated. This video took some time to script, but again was very fun to make. I'll try to have part 3 where we discuss the events following 2250 and we will venture out all the way to the end of time soon. 